What's up my fabulous love bug goodies? Welcome back to your girl kitchen and to my channel. All requested how to make Jamaican hot and spicy curry goat pot in your kitchen fast, easy and simple and your girl is here to deliver. Now you want this pot to be filled with nothing but all that goodness of goat meat in the middle, in the center, and me, I will show you how it's done. Now, if you are here watching me making this party for the very first time, make sure that you have subscribed already. If you're not subscribed, feel free to do so. Then turn on the post notification settings, goodie, so you will always be reminded whenever your girl upload a brand new video. Now, make me jump right into the recipe, you know? Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You know remember the days I'm when him feed ya? You know when no obligation but you win some respect All you need to do is just give him what you get Turn your back on your brother when him need Okay, good day. Let's jump right into it. Coming now, we're not that. We're not gonna lay on them pot here. Now I have my container there, and I am going to add three cups of all-purpose flour to this container. Now you could substitute this dough and use any kind of flour of your choice, but make sure you don't use self-rising flour. Now I did add one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of turmeric powder, and three tablespoons of the vegetable shortening you can also substitute the vegetable shortening for coconut oil it's gonna work just fine now what you want to make sure you do though goody make sure you have clean hands of course and you're going to break up that good fat all up in the flour there three cups of all-purpose flour now you could use rice flour you could use almond flour whatever kind of flour that you like you use but do not use a self-rising flour for this recipe because you're not going to have patty crust anymore you're going to have bread right now to that I'm going to add one cup of icy cold water do not do not add all the water at the same time use it a little as you go along because based on the flour that you are going to use if you're gonna use like rice flour it might take less right because our purpose flour is one of those flour that soak up a lot of water so just be careful just go a little at a time when you do this step but I did use one full cup of ice cold water to three cups of our purpose flour right so that worked pretty good and I just want to make sure whatever you're doing you're getting that good fat all up in that um, that dough because that is how you're going to have the most perfect Patty cross for any kind of patty where you are make it's gonna make you the most perfect cross. That good fat right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. That's what the thing said. Now, after I got done doing that, I transfer it to my flat board and I did give it a good knead, like five minutes of a good knead, a good slapping and a good spanking because I want to make sure I get that good fat through and through and through that dough real good after i got done doing that me get my plastic wrap i'm gonna wrap it up tight and nice and sit it aside for about a good 45 minutes 40 minutes 45 minutes but you want to sit it aside the longer you have it sit is the better the crust is going to come out now let me talk about the meat right this is the meat that you've been asking me to make this patty. This is goat meat and that is the leg of the goat, right? What I had them do at the meat market was grind it up for me. And yes, I had to pay extra to get this goat meat grind, but I think it was worth it. Now, goat meat, that goat meat is much refined. It's, it's more refined than beef for sure. And it does has a way different texture to it. And yeah. Yeah, I, I was pleased with it. So goat meat it is. Yes, goody. This curry goat patty, it we gonna do it today. 
Now, I'm, I'm going to wash it though because even though it's, it's grinded or grind or whatever, I am still going to give it a nice little rinse under some cold running water. Only cold running water. Do not use lukewarm water. Do not use hot water to give it a good rinse. Use cold running water only and get that water out of the meat thoroughly, right? Now, after I got done doing that, in another part, I went ahead and added some extra virgin olive oil to it. Then I added a tablespoon of uh, curry powder. So now you want to make sure you add curry powder here. You're going to put turmeric powder into the flour, but you use curry powder for the meat. Now I added my grounded meat to it, and I am using about two pounds of that grounded curry goat, right? So we're going to use two pounds of that and we are going to make sure this thing is seasoned well just like if you don't cook it with rice and peas same thing to that i added a lot of garlic at least two to three tablespoons of garlic i love garlic goody i love garlic in my food you can never go wrong with some good garlic so i added my garlic to it and i started to combine that and we are going to kick it up a notch and give it some flavor because we want to make sure this patty is packed with nothing but flavor not but flavor so i went ahead and i had it about a medium size chopped onion to it then I added some bell peppers and I used green and I used red but you could use whatever kind of color you want no matter color color then I added some chopped scotch bonnet pepper to it and you know when we feel about pepper but this is spicy yeah? it is spicy curry gold patties today so that that record of add, add pepper in it I gave it a good combination spin and I allowed it to cook for uh allowed to cook for about 30 minutes but before you do that you add a garlic powder your onion powder and your black pepper and that is all one teaspoon each make sure you add that good because we're talking flavor here then you want to go ahead and add your dried thyme to it fresh thyme you could use that as well add your all-purpose season one teaspoon of that to the mix for sure and then mix it all in whatever you're doing make sure that you season this goat meat just like if you was going to cook it with white rice make sure you season it up good because you are dealing with goat meat here I covered it up and I allowed it to cook for 30 minutes 30 minutes on medium heat only then it was ready but not ready to all me want it I want to make sure that there's no grease in the steak so I added one and a fourth cup of breadcrumbs to the mix one and a fourth cup of breadcrumbs to the mix combine it together give it a good look and mix for about three minutes because it's already cooked the breadcrumbs is only sucking up all that extra added oil and stuff I don't want it in there in my patty to fall apart so as you can see how nice it is in the bottom nothing is burnt it's just perfect perfect that is how you want it to be and my curry goat was done right this so perfect right mm -hmm. it doesn't get any better than that cover it up and make it chill out until we move on to that step here now it was time to get my cross formed and to make your circle whatever it's up to you to decide how you're going to get your patties form i always you know depend on my mood me just do whatever comes to mind whether i want to use my knife to form it whether i'm going to use a round circle container to form it i just go with the flow of things right but i am going to show you though how to kind of get it in that circular form to make a patty if that if that is easy it for you for work with you work with it that way there but you want to make sure that your hands are clean your surface is clean and you do add flour to the cotton board so that when you roll out the thing the thing is nice and smooth and it does not stick and it is this is good either way whether you're going to use a circular thing to make your circle or whatever you decide to do but make it work for you in your kitchen tie your kitchen right yes boo so what I did here was go ahead and start flipping it over 
a couple of times just to make sure that there's no nuts and lumps and all of that stuff and other thing and I did like like I'm showing you right here you could do it like this just so make a circle and get your putty on right you decide the size of the putty that you need but I didn't want to do it that way I wanted to do it my old school way so I went ahead and got my meat filling in I gave it a good fold and yeah this was some nice size patty as a matter of fact this three cups of flour made me a total of six large patties and it could have been smaller but because I chose to do six right but you could get the patties whatever size that you want but this is a way that I like to do my patties as well right so whatever you do, you just do, just do whatever works for you, goody. Eh? You know what I'm mean? saying? Get your fork and you just know, scrunch it all up. And yeah, it works. I'm just going to let you go ahead and just watch this right here. And then I'll come back, um, yeah, later on. Just go ahead and, and, and see what your girl is doing right here. When you're all said and done, make sure that your oven is turned on to 375 degrees. You don't want to put these patties into a cold oven. You want to make sure that your oven is preheated. And this should take a total of 20 minutes, 20 minutes to bake, right? At 375 degrees. Now, before you put them in the oven though, you want to get some melted butter and just apply it on top off the patties just to make sure that you have a nice little flaky crust right on top and you should be good to go all right now while you're still here watching me make sure that you have subscribed to my channel make sure that you are in fact sharing the love and letting everybody know what's going on up over here now if your girl always have some really really good recipes going on over here and they are always always good and they're always fast easy and simple to follow anything you want your girl is always here to deliver now don't forget to go subscribe to your girl channel life as juliana i always have some inspirational videos dollar tree diy and blogs and more so so much more all my vegan recipes are over there there will be no more vegan recipes here so all my vegan go to go ahead and subscribe to the channel all right show your girl some l-o-v-e love and i am waiting i love you goodies you don't know the thing yeah right now when the pot them all said and are done and ready to go i pop them out of the oven after 20 minutes of baking apply just a little bit more of that butter on top and my curry goat patties were ready right they were ready they was hot and spicy and they was ready to be devoured i did make some cocoa bread i will do that in another recipe but i did however make some cocoa bread today but i will do that another time a different game mm -hmm. so yes good there you have it all done all done all done and these patties was juicy all up on the inside you see that that is some good curry good patty right there so perfect curbwood patty i hope you have enjoyed the recipe make sure say give your girl some love turn on them post notification goodie and tell your girl what you like to see her cooking next in her kitchen right spread the love with friends and family as usual 
All right, tell me what you have to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy!